Uh, I think we'll do Natsuki first. So she's cute words, right? Dazzle. Ah, oh, fuck! No, I just started! Fluffy! Ah, yes. Boop! Ah, uh, silly. Fuck! <laughs> Bubbles! Whoa, I accidentally got two! <laughs> Twirl! Spark, oh, damn it! Sayori, stop, please. Uh, lipstick. Mm. Puppy. Doki Doki. Uh, lucky? Ah. Milk. Whoa, I accidentally did that again. Uh, blanket. Uh, kawaii. Vanilla. Anime. Jump or jumpy? Ah, I'll go cute. Papa. Nice. Wonderful. Hi again, Aliu, though. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your palm, Miss Aliulo. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Mangaka! Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys! Aliyula always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He always helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. Sayori, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Aliulo can become good friends, too. Uh, um... S Sayori? Ugh! Hmm? Ugh. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put us into. She's trying to pair us up! Oh, oh Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, wait, Sayori! It, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Siori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Uh, is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Here reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. Aw, oh, man. It's slightly insulting. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. I feel even more insulted! And we could, you know, discuss it, if you wanted. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Sorry, my, wor my words fell apart. Yuri, thank you! I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. 
Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ah! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just going to mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Is that... Is that paper on the wall? Chinese? This ain't China at all. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. Wow! What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches, snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box with one book box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. Oh wow, that oh, that's an actual phrase I use. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic, or it's simply terrible. RIP! If you're gonna judge, you can do go do it through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging or anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Aliulo. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, Natsuki put, pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attires, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moe. Don't just stand there. Uh, Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Finally! She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She pats on the ground next to her, sig signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Uh, Why is that? Uh, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. Ah! Th don't just say that! You make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Am I really that bad? Sorry. Didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her, either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older, vo older volumes every now and then. Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. Looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical manga stuff. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Wow! So... What should I expect from this? Is there going to be any plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter where they're obsessed with a guy at the ice cream shop. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. 
But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Like when they get into all their backstories and when some of the romance starts to happen. That's really what makes it good. So good. There are so many touching parts. Ah, oh, is that so? Sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait! What's that supposed to mean? Deal with it. Whoa! Uh Natsuki gives me a little shove abuse! It just meant that I haven't seen you at your full power. Hmm, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about baking. This is just a guess, but is there a lot of baking in this manga? Well... Natsuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want to admit something. Yeah... What does that matter? It doesn't, I was just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's... Just a coincidence! I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because it's in a manga. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. <laughs> I guess that explains Natsuki's interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up from a manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. That's true. Not to mention, she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? Oh god, CG! We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Ugh. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well... I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Hmm? You don't? Oh man, no friends. Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. No friends! What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Did you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Oh, jeez. Eh? You still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face! Oh boy! Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser. <laughs> Aw, dude, same. So I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't keep it, even keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Uh, so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. You gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I'll read. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> I totally forgot that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on one of the panels. Minori is my favorite character. Oh, is she best girl? You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when spoilers! Ugh! I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. I'm on it, boss. Natsuki's voice sparkles with excitement. It's a stark contrast to her usual bossy tone. But it's, if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can understand why. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connecting with someone like that. And being able to provide that to Natsuki, for whom it's a rare experience? The thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Eh? Are you all ready with today's poems? Uh, 
Oh, come on! Could your timing be any worse? Sorry? I just needed to m need to make sure we have enough time. Though you do look pretty cozy over there. <laughs> eh? Ah, ah! Natsuki suddenly notices how close she's gotten to me. Baby. She hastily slides herself a good 12 inches away from me. No, please! Alright. Guess I'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back? Don't you want to know what happens? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Uh, is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't really didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course! It would take forever to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish that one before tomorrow so we can start the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you! Oh, wow! By tomorrow? I only got partway through the volume so far. I might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. Or are you a filthy season seasonal watcher? Ugh. But I suppose that's a necessary sacrifice in exchange for seeing Natsuki's enthusiastic face. Or am I more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? She'll kill us. All right, then. I stand up. I return to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Nerd, how could you let them do this to you? I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. I was kind of strung... String... Stringed? Strings? Stringed together? Random words? I don't know the correct conjugation for that. I hope you enjoy it. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Siori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Siori's on a wrinkled sheet of loose, tea, loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition book. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Who should I show my poem to first? Uh, let's just go from the top down. Sayori. I'm definitely most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend, after all. Hmm. This is a good poem, Aliulo. Are you sure it's your first time? Of course. It's not that good. Am I the kind of guy who'd be writing poems in his spare time? <laughs> I guess you're right. That's why it impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. Just reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. I mean, I am here, aren't I? Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Yeah, like what he said. Uh, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Aliulo. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. I want a girlfriend. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That'll be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Dude, same. <laughs> we'll see about that. That was a nice music change. Should I do this in the voice? You know what? You know what, I think we might. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me, kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play, 
Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Beautiful. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. Shows what you know, she just did. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Well, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? it sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast! Even though you were late to school? That's why she was late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. Ooh, boo. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Natsuki. Uh. Uh. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... You love it, don't you? Natsuki read, reads my poem. You love it, don't you? Never mind, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Uh, then what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Uh. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. <laughs> I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Damn right I am. I'm just too good for you. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Ugh. Natsuki's retort gets stuck in her throat. Ugh. You're so... You just... You... Don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announce it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? G fine, I guess. Only because Monica won't make me if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. That's pretty simply done. Yeah, told you we weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. 
I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Wonderful. Yuri. Huh. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. She hates it! Um. Oh! S sorry! I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah? Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that might be that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Oh, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. Oh, she's the shy girl. Couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't got really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What you were you saying? Right, um, it's just that there are specified, specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds a train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um... Well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. Not sure if Yuri's apologizing to, to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Yeah, but it's not a poetry club. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the ember glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. I'm gonna need some clarification on this one, Yuri. Oh, I, I'm sorry I have such ter terrible handwriting. What? Well, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Aliulo. Really? Could have fooled me. Must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But I spent so long reading it! But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. 
lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I won't let you down. Monica! Hi, Elio. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any, have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Alilo. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know? But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. And Monica, my proem. Mm hmm. I like it, Alilo. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, don't taunt me, please. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. Ah. <laughs> if you say so. Yep. By the way, any chance you've read anything by Shel Silverstein? Silverstein? Silverstein. Uh, maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. His poems can be funny, endearing, or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Natsuki is kind of like that? Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Sure. Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina's already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was... Fuck! Too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. So, what do you think? It's, uh... It's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Oh... Uh, 
Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Aw, oh, thanks, Monica. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. <laughs> Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all, and I'm just here for the girls. I sigh. <sighs> I guess it's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of papers, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem onto the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant... the language, I guess. They're gonna fight. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? Even you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um... Uh. Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. I was looking for suggestions. I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it. Naliulo did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Oh! Hmm? And Aliula liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh? I didn't realize you're so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh? eh? Boing. That's not what I... Uh, you... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Aliyu appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh! And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Oh ho ho ho! Uh, uh, um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Aliulo started showing up. Wow! <laughs> Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls torn, turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Eliulo, She... She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! She could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. Then this wouldn't have happened in the first place! What's the point in making all your poems all convoluted for no reason? I mean, it should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. 
Let me explain that to her, Alilo. Well, wait. There's a reason we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Alilo? Uh... Well? Uh... How did I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever, whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So of course, that's going to be... Natsuki! Even though this mostly boils down to a disagreement over... Literary, literary style. Going with Natsuki anyway. Um... Yuri, you're really talented. Eh, well, but Natsuki has a point. I think that I rack my brain in an attempt to back myself up. I think that conveying feelings with few words can be just as impressive as well. It lets the reader's imagination take over. And Natsuki's poem did a really good job at that. Yeah, it did, didn't it? <laughs> wow. Shows how much you know. Th that's not... Natsuki, I think that's enough. Huh? Me? She was so mean to me. Natsuki's voice whines. Look, what we talked about yesterday was right. Writing is a really personal thing. And sharing it can definitely be hard. Looks like we learned that today. Even small criticism can lead to something pretty heated. Glance over my shoulder. Siori is nodding vigorously. Keep doing it! Yeah, you're doing good! Yeah, so... You don't need to feel threatened. You're a great writer, Natsuki. Ah! Natsuki's voice gets caught in surprise. Thanks for noticing. She finally mutters that, barely audible. Yuri? Huh? Yuri looks at me de dejectedly. With a face like that, I can't help but feel bad for her as well. I'm sure that Natsuki didn't mean everything she said. So you don't need to feel threatened either. Well, if you say so. Hey, it's not like you need to apologize for me, Aliulo. Apologize for yourself, nerd. Sheesh. Natsuki takes a breath. I... The thing about... Uh... Natsuki glances around the room. But everyone stop staring at me! Unsurprisingly, Natsuki has a harder time with it than she boasted. Siori and Monica look away. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, think about your boobs. I didn't mean it, okay? That's all. Natsuki looks away, avoiding eye contact with anyone. Yeah, you're naturally beautiful, Yuri. Siori! Don't touch her boobs! Uh, stop touching my boobs. I'll go make some tea. Eh? Huh? I was just trying to help. I'm sure she appreciated it, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. Well, now that we're past that... Everyone's read each other's poems, right? I hope that it was worthwhile for everyone. Especially you, Aliulo. And to be honest, it's a nice change of pace from the lazing around we got a little too used to. <laughs> Ah, so my joining the club was responsible for ruining the atmosphere. No, not at all, not at all. There's still time before we go home, so we'll all relax for a bit. Of course, besides chatting, we do literature-related literature things in the club room. So maybe you can take the chance to pick up a book or do some writing. After all, that's what the club is for. I disagree, Monica. Uh, about what? That's not the most important thing about the literature club. The most important thing is having fun. Aw, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> of course. Well, I guess that's why you're vice president, Sayori. <laughs> in the end, though, Monica's right. Being in the literature club probably means I can't spend all my time doing nothing. But in the end, I guess it's been worth it so far. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun! Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Positivity! 
Hell you, Lo, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. Uh, I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Eliulo, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Siori beams at me. Truly has been a while since Siori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. Siori, about what happened earlier. Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happened off happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. Ah, uh, dude, first day and we already got girls fighting over us? Wonderful. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Alulo. It's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day it's gonna be so much fun. Ugh. Looks like Siori still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but... Does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siori. I bat Siori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her, but it's easy to use Siori as an, inter as an internal monologue sometimes. Aw oh, man, she's a human talking board. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this! Damn right.